This leads me to my next thing, guys, which is Gears 5 and one of the modes that I would love to see brought back in this game is Beast Mode. And I want to talk about that because Beast Mode, guys, for those of you who have never played it, it was a mode in Gears of War 3 when that uh, launched, and it was a mode in which it was essentially like Horde mode, but instead of playing as, you know, the cog, and you would take, go, you know, try to defeat waves upon waves of Locust Horde, you played as the Horde. And so what you would end up doing is essentially you would be able to play as one of the Tickers or a Cantus uh, or one of, the, one of the just members of the Locust Horde. And it was pretty neat. It was a really unique and interesting game mode. And you could, if I remember correctly, you could like rank up each one of those different members of the Locust Horde different characters you could you could just unlock different things and and it was just another way in which you could rank up in Gears of War 3. I think beast mode guys would just you know it's something I think that could be brought back and there's maybe ways in which that they could make it even better than it was in Gears of War 3. I absolutely loved the game mode. I thought it was extremely creative and I just thought it was kind of a, a role reversal. And I would love to see that come back. I mean, there's a number of things that I would like to see in Gears 5, guys. I mean, there, there just is. I mean, do I like the maps? Yeah, I do. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I think the maps are pretty good. I think the map pool is pretty is pretty solid. I, I like the maps. It, it's very, it feels like Gears of War. Sure, I mean, as far as like, you know, the re-ups are concerned. Do I feel like you don't get enough? Yeah, you don't really get enough stuff. I Do I feel like the re-up icons or the, uh, you know, emblems and such that you get are, aren't that great? Yeah, you know, they're not that great. But look, it's one of those things. Each game is going to have specific things about it that you like and you don't like. Now, do I want them to bring the wings back like they did with like Gears of War 3 and, and Gears 4? Sure, I want to see those things. I'd like to see them update, you know, or, or kind of as we go here, they're kind of making things better and better as we go. I would love to see that. Because this is what I'm going to say, guys. To get back to, you know, the coalition and what they've done for us, obviously bringing back Gears of War, but also just the fact that, okay, they brought back, you know, Gears of War, the Ultimate Edition, you know, obviously, bring you know, kind of bringing back some of those great old memories. Then you had Gears of War 4, which, okay, the campaign, I didn't like the campaign, but I thought the multiplayer was the be one of the best multiplayers we had in, in Gears of War ever. Like, I, I thought that the multiplayer was incredible. I, I just did. And the Horde mode, I loved Horde mode in Gears of War 4. I thought it was great. Overall, like, as an experience, I loved Gears of War 4. It was the best one since Gears of War 3. But sure, the, the campaign, I didn't like the campaign. I thought it, they were too heavily focused on the robots in it, and I, I just did not like that. I wanted to be more focused on the Locust Horde. And guess what they did in Gears 5? They did exactly that. Now, Gears 5 obviously had some things. I, I like the semi-open world. I thought that's a really cool idea, and I'm wondering if they're going to continue that onwards into, in, into Gear 6 to move, moving into a fully open world setting. That'd be pretty cool. But the thing I, you know, the thing I, I still don't really know how I feel about is, is being Kate Diaz instead of JD Phoenix or Marcus, you know, it's, it's hard for me to, to move on from Marcus. And that was tough with, with Gears of War 4 with JD, even though I was kind of accepting it by the end of the game, it's hard to move on to Kate Diaz. I don't know why I like Kate a lot. She's a great character, a real badass character, but there's something about Marcus uh, and, and JD's pretty cool as well. I'd like to see more of kind of the Last of Us kind of take where you play, maybe in Gear 6, you play 
some of Kate Diaz, but you also play as JD a little bit or a little bit as Marcus. I'd kind of like kind of switching it around between characters a little bit more in Gear 6. That would just be kind of some feedback to the Coalition. I'd love to hear from you guys what you guys think about that. But getting back to the Coalition and just how an incredible experience of a campaign I felt that they made in Gears 5. Um, we're really taking significant steps forward. I, I feel like they, when it comes to the campaign, I feel like they're doing a, an incredible job. I'm not going to say that Gears 5 was the best campaign because Gears of War 3 is going to have a very close place in my heart. But it's up there, man. It's very, very well done. And I, I, I like some of the additions that they made to, you know, aiming down sights and such and, and how that all works in Gears 5 as far as just on an overall basis, right? I love the escape mode. Escape is very different and that's something that I'm, I, I enjoy. Kind of like when I was saying, you know, if they could bring back beast mode, it's another mode I'd love to see come back. But escape mode is pretty sick. It's fun. It's a cool mode. I'll also say, guys, that, you know, like I said, the multiplayer in Gears 5, it feels really good. Uh, I don't like the omen and how that works when you're being shot at and uh, you're losing health. And instead of the omen, you know, filling up, it kind of fills, it fills up from the outside coming in instead of in out kind of. And I don't really know if I like that that much because sometimes it does kind of blur your vision and such. But it's an interesting concept. And what I will tell you guys, and, and this is just someone who's speaking, I, I, I don't know for a fact if, if the coalition is listening to everything, but I'm pretty sure they are. They've been pretty open about, you know, commenting on, on what we're, we're saying as a community and what, what we're hoping that they do in the future and things of that nature. And I got to say, guys, I feel like we're in good hands with the coalition. I'm telling you right now. We're in really good hands, and that's kind of what I want to, to, to stress to everyone is that the Coalition are, they're human beings just like us, right? And they're trying to make the best product and the best game possible, okay? And it's up to us to support, you know, the things that we like about the game. Sure, give our criticism, like I said, to the things that we don't uh, enjoy about the game. And, and I think that people expect an instant fix, right? Because I see this in Call of Duty as well. Everyone wants an instant fix on the things that are going on with Call of Duty, but it just can't happen immediately. People want the spawns to be fixed. I mean, those are very difficult things for developers to be able to fix is spawns. Even though it's something that may need to be fixed, it's a very difficult one. So just be patient you know, as the coalition is, is working on this and trying to make this as good of an experience as possible for us. They're, they're going to do their, they're going to do their damn best to make this a, as playable of a game or as, as enjoyable of a game for us as possible. And, you know, they're slowly, but surely they're implementing things slowly, but surely into, you know, things that I think are making the game better over time. Would I like to see them update, you know, the re-ups or make those a little bit, you know, more reason to re-up in the game? Sure, of course. The tour of duty, I mean, it's it's pretty grindy and stuff. I mean, you know, I, I think people need to be rewarded if they're going to grind really hard, but give them really good stuff, right? Um, you know. And in the in the store, I've never been one, guys, that has, and I've said this multiple times on this channel, when it comes to microtransactions, I don't remember the last time I bought a microtransaction, unless you consider like DLC, you know, like DLC maps and Call of Duty or something. If you consider that microtransactions, which probably, I guess they probably are. Other than that, I really don't buy like cosmetic items. I just don't do it. I like earning things in game right? That's what I like. I like to try to earn stuff within the game. So it's never really been a problem for me, the microtransactions within video games. It's when they become uh, deceptive to the consumers. And I've said that number of times, like for example, like a deceptive or just very 
um, you know, pay to win mentalities. Okay. Which obviously with Gears of War, we don't have anything like that. You know, we don't have like a specific, you know, obviously there's power weapons, which is what I love about Gears of War, by the way, it's similar to Halo. Everyone has the same weapons for the most part. And then of course you've got power weapons on the map. That's pretty awesome. I, I like that. I like that concept. Okay. And it, you just fight for those, for those power weapons. It's an easy concept to understand. And I just really like that. As far as the esports scene goes, I'd love to see, you know, I, I like execution. I like the idea of execution being the game mode because it's very easy to understand for new viewers. It's just, look, this is search and destroy essentially. You know, you get one life. So everyone, you know, the stakes are higher. And I think that would be, I, I really do think that ex execution would be great. Escalation's a fantastic game mode. I just don't know if Escalation should be the main game mode for the esports scene. Maybe. I mean, it's hard to tell. I, I had a lot of fun watching it in Gears of War 4. I thought it was great. But was it, is it better than Execution? I don't know. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts on that in the comment section below. Is, es is Escalation better than Execution or would you rather see Execution over Escalation in the pro circuit. Let me know what you guys think about that. I I think I would like to see execution over it. I, maybe just for this title. You know, we saw escalation for all of Gears of War 4. Let's see what execution does in Gears 5. I think I would like that. I know they're kind of been switching that around a number of times. They're switching up the meta and such right before, you know, the uh, tournaments and that's not a good thing, but I think we're moving in the right direction. They've got majors. Maybe eventually they'll have, you know, a regular season playoffs championship, which is kind of a little bit more structured. But nonetheless, I love the direction we're moving in at least. We just got to, we got to change, you know, there's just things here and there that need to be changed, mended, and we as a community need to be, you know, supporting the, you know, streamers, content creators, and, you know, voicing our opinion and just, you know, hoping that we, you know, get a stronger game over time.